How the people are doing? So, oh baby, we have the best flagships that these two companies have ever produced. And, well, I guess OnePlus 12 isn't exactly a flagship, but whatever, we'll just consider it the best smartphones that they've ever produced. And, yeah, the price difference, they're a lot of mercy. <laughs> it's so unimaginably huge. It's just, man, calling it massive, just massive, would be like calling, I don't know, Mount Everest a pimple? A pimple? I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get started because I'm excited enough already. Our right, so first image is fairly simple. It may not look like anything crazy, but uh, I do see one pretty significant difference. You see the OnePlus 12, it makes it an absolute point to preserve every little bit of detail in the shadows. And that naturally means less contrast. I prefer more contrast, it's as simple as that. Not that the OnePlus 12 looks flat or anything, but my personal preference does go to the S24 Ultra because it has higher contrast. And yeah, yeah, I understand with higher contrast, you might end up with losing some detail in the shadows. Sure, it can happen. I'm not saying it won't, but those small details that you usually end up losing are just irrelevant. And at the end of the day, if you do lose out on some detail, but you get an overall more punchy, more contrasty looking image, I'll, I'll take that as a win. And it, it looks good to my eyes, it may not be the case for you, decide for yourself. It's a similar situation here, not only can we get much closer with the S24 Ultra using the main camera, which makes it really good for main camera close-ups, but look at the wall in the background. Does it not look a little too faded on the OnePlus 12? It does to my eyes, without question. Now then, backlit, well, it would be preposterous for me to make a comparison without any backlit shots, right? But this isn't horribly backlit or anything, it's kind of backlit, I guess. I do have a horrible one coming right up. But in this case, there are a few differences that I want to point out. First and foremost, the S24 Ultra, again, slightly higher contrast, which I do like. N not a big deal. But if you look at the warm tones on the OnePlus 12, I think they look more natural and they have less of a green tint in the warm tones, that is. Just look at the road and the highlights that are falling on the road. And now, I did say there was a horrible backlash shot. Here it is. Well, so the S24 Ultra, it's, it's doing something very interesting it is conserving more of the highlights it has a better gradient with the highlight in my opinion i think it looks a little bit more smooth more even but it also has more blue in the sky which doesn't really look all that natural like look at the sun it's way down there and you don't get such blue skies uh, let's face it these are all nitpicks but i think the s24 does pull ahead by just a little bit because it is conserving the highlights a little bit more and then the ultra red camera and yes we are starting off strong with a fairly backlit image well in this case, I think the OnePlus 12 has slightly better white balance because, you know, it was close to sunset and you should have a lot of warm tones in there. The S24 Ultra is kind of going a little far with the overcompensation. You can see that a lot of the warm tones are just being lost. And especially if you look at the sky, it's way too blue. It's unnaturally blue. That's not supposed to happen. It's just, it is artificially making it blue to maybe make it look more vibrant and all that jazz. But to be honest, it just doesn't sit right for me. Other than this, horribly backlit ultra white shirt. And it's kind of a similar story. You can see how the S24 Ultra, just around the highlights, it is preserving the warmth. But the moment we look at the entire sky as a whole, it is way too blue, way more than it is supposed to be. The OnePlus, on the other hand, it is actually going for a generally higher exposure, which is why the highlight is a little bit more blown out. The sky in general is much brighter. And even the road has way more brightness in general. But anyways, let's move on to the macro. Now, this is interesting. So, this one of our ultras, ultra wide camera, you won't really see it in daylight shots, but it's not that high quality. It's a 12 pixel sensor, not a very good or a very big sensor. And let's face it, with the ultra wide camera, size does matter. But with the S24 Ultra, you also get a tremendous macro mode, which I would say is probably one of the absolute best that you can get with the ultra wide, because you can get ludicrously close. I mean, the OnePlus is good, but the S24 Ultra is on a whole new level. And then for zoom, see, this is the ultra wide camera, and I do think that the S24 Ultra is doing a slightly better job with preserving the warm tones. You can see it on the road. But then you move your gaze upwards and you will see the sky, which, <laughs> man, at this point, it's, uh, it's a little too much, way too much. Like that brilliant blue that we're getting, it just, it is absolutely not supposed to happen. The OnePlus just lets the sky be the sky. I don't know why it bothers me so much to have this unnatural blue color. It may not bother most people, I'm not sure, but 
Well, it sure as hell does for me. Now with the main camera, I think now the S24 Sky looks way better than it did previously. I still think OnePlus looks more natural, but it's not that big a difference. Also, the OnePlus has higher contrast, which I do prefer, but I also believe it needs a little bit more warmth, considering the time of day and all that. Now then for 2x, this is a little interesting. The S24 Ultra, with regular photos, it does not give us any option whatsoever to take 2x sensor crop shots. It can do it with portraits, but it cannot with regular photos, which is ridiculous. The OnePlus does give us the option. However, when you look at the detail preservation, it just turns the tables entirely. It makes no sense as to why the S24 Ultra, which does not give us any options, somehow has significantly more detail. Like, damn, that's, the OnePlus looks horrendous. And look, I'm, I'm being a little harsh here, I get it. But still, like, the OnePlus gives us the option in the camera app. Why is it not optimized? Then of course we have 3X. Now 3X is optical zoom on both. The OnePlus does have a significantly higher quality sensor. It absolutely does help with the OnePlus 12 because you can see even with 12 pixels at a 500% crop, we are getting significantly more detail. Now there is some small amounts of sharpening that I can see on the OnePlus 12, but the difference in that regard is minimal, but the amount of detail that we're getting in addition as opposed to the S24 Ultra, is quite something. Now then 5X. Naturally, this is where the S24 Ultra is going to be in a league of its own because 5X is optical and it does have a very high quality sensor. It just bothers me a lot that the other two sensors outside of the main camera don't actually get any good treatment with the hardware. Now, OnePlus does give us a 6X as well. Now, it's, it's not gonna matter against the S24 Ultra at least because, you know, optical zoom on the S24 is way more. And yeah, the sharpness is significantly higher. I don't even have to zoom in, I'm pretty sure you can see it. Then of course, 10X, and this is where I think the S24 Ultra tries to use some kind of sensor crop, but I'm not entirely certain. I do know that it looks phenomenal, way more detailed than the OnePlus 12. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Now then of course, high resolution. So now this is where things are gonna get interesting. So we have 50 more pixels on both. Now the OnePlus 12, with my past experience at least, I don't think it has all that good detail preservation. And that is disappointing to say the least. We are of course using the 50 megapixel bin down mode on the S24 Ultra. And I mean, this is just leagues apart. It doesn't even look like the OnePlus 12 was focusing on the crane. And I did check around the rest of the image. That is actually the sharpest part and that's the maximum amount of detail you're gonna get. And of course, you can always use 200 megapixels if you want, but it takes up too much file size and I don't think the detail difference is all that much as opposed to the S24's 50 more pixels, which I do believe is the absolute sweet spot. But of course, when we crop in, I think it's more than obvious that the S24 Ultra holds its own when it comes to detail preservation. And look, the 200 more pixels, the number itself means mostly nothing, but the difference in quality between the OnePlus 12 and the S24 Ultra is pretty obvious with the high res. Now, oddly enough, the S24 Ultra also has a 24 more pixel mode, which I think could have been a really incredible thing to have. But the problem is, you gotta jump through a whole bunch of hoops just to get to the 24 megapixel mode. You see, you gotta download the expert drop first and foremost. And then every time you want 24 megapixels, you gotta use that app specifically, or you gotta go through the main camera to the expert drop. It's a, it's a whole thing. And yeah. It's unfortunate. And I say that because there's two major problems. First and foremost is the whole process of getting to the mode, but also you don't get the full power or the full processing power of the S24 Ultra's cameras because it's a separate app. Samsung makes the app, but it's not as well optimized. Yes, we get slightly more detail, but look at the noise. It's insane on the S24 Ultra. That does not look appealing, not by a long shot. Now with the ultra wide camera, you see this is actually where the OnePlus should technically pull ahead. It has 50 more pixel mode, right? Now, I'll give you this much. The S24 Ultra's ultra wide can actually preserve a fair bit of detail when we have daylight or a good amount of light. The OnePlus 12, for some reason, the high-res modes, they just don't work all that well. Now the 3X, see, I, I kind of have high hopes for the OnePlus 12 here because even though the high-res doesn't really work all that well, the new sensor seems to be very high quality. And so when we crop in, well, look at that. The new sensor does work because we get significantly more detail as opposed to the S24 Ultra. It just bothers me. Why do the main and ultra wide camera on the OnePlus 12 not have similar levels of detail? It's not like the resolution is all that much higher. It's 64, I know, but still, 50 more pixels with those two cameras should produce at least close to this much amount of detail, but they don't. Now with 5X, the S24 comes in with a 50 more pixel mode and yeah, it works really well. Now, I know I didn't mention this previously, but the color of the building is 
oddly inaccurate on the S24 Ultra. I, I don't know what's going on with the S24 Ultra, but the OnePlus 12 is, you know, giving us a right brown color as it should be. And yes, the S24 Ultra does have high detail preservation. I mean, optical zoom and high res, of course it's gonna work. Now then for selfies, and immediately the S24 Ultra takes the lead. Now, I don't think the S24 is perfect. It has its problems, which I'm pretty sure you can tell right now. The sky is completely blown out. Why? I don't know. It's not backlit, nothing as such. The OnePlus on the other hand, it is keeping the sky in check. I mean, bravo. But yeah, also it, it looks like I was shot in log mode, which doesn't work. And the absolutely ridiculous thing is that with a slightly backlit shot, both of these phones fixed every bit of problem that they had with the highlight preservation and all that. Now, yes, once again, I do think the S24 is blowing out the sky a little more, but it's, it's not bad. And the OnePlus, that, that one did a complete comeback. It's not only giving us good detail in the sky, as opposed to the S24, it's also maintaining the contrast exceptionally well. Now then, with this completely backlit shot, I do think both of them have their issues. They're a little flat, that's flaring, that's probably why they look so flat. It's a little less, the flaring that is, on the S24 Ultra, but the S24 is also blowing out the highlight way more than the OnePlus. Now the OnePlus also has a much wider field of view, which I do prefer. I think selfies look way better with a wider field of view, even though I don't take a lot of them outside of the comparisons, but anyways. Now with the selfie portraits, there are quite a few differences. So I kind of like the way the S24 looks with the skin tones and it does have more detail, again, more sharpening going on. The OnePlus on the other hand, Man, I like the contrast. It just, it looks really nice on the OnePlus 12, yeah. But then, this one, I don't even think it was all that backlit. The S24 is doing a really good job. I don't think it's got a little bit too much blue in my t-shirt, which was not the case, obviously. But the OnePlus 12 looks way too flat. So I think you can tell where my preference is gonna go for this one. Now then, for this backlit selfie portrait, yeah, the S24 takes it. Simply because I think the background looks so much better as opposed to the OnePlus 12. It doesn't have that lens blur effect and it looks artificial. Also, part of my sunglass got chewed up by the OnePlus 12. Now, I know the sunglasses can be difficult, the S24 also has issues. But where the S24 Ultra does not have any issues, damn, that was an amazing segue, don't you think? <laughs> Anyways, I think night selfies are just tremendous on the S24 Ultra. I don't even need to tell you why that's the case. I mean, look at the difference right here. And it is the exact same situation with night selfie portraits because amongst all the phones that I've used, the S24 is like one of the very few that actually gives us night selfie portraits. Now then with portrait mode, I'm gonna give you a disclaimer right now. I took these shots at very late sunset. And because of that, it can get very difficult for both phones. And you can see it right here. The OnePlus 12, it gives me higher contrast, which I do prefer. Now the S24 does give a little bit more detail in the shadows, but it's actually a little bit more overexposed in general. Because you see, a lot of the highlights on my face, they're just, you know, blown out. And it doesn't look all that good. Now then with 2X, once again, it's a similar story. The OnePlus 12 just gives you more contrast. And I actually prefer how the skin tones look on the OnePlus 12 here. Now, I can completely understand why the S24 Ultra might be just as appealing. Uh, to you as the OnePlus 12 is to me because it, it really is going to depend on taste. If you like high contrast, you're going to prefer the OnePlus. If you don't, then you're going to prefer the S24. Now at 3x, the tables have turned because now the S24 Ultra has slightly better pilot preservation. Now I, I say slightly, but it's actually a good bit better. It was a very difficult shot, very warm sunlight falling straight on my face, and the OnePlus is clearly unable to handle it. It's kind of unfortunate because it was doing a really good job up until now. Now then 5X, the S24 Ultra, because it has 5X, you can actually use it for some really nice and pleasing looking portraits. I'll tell you this much, I'm usually not a fan of very saturated skin tones as we have on the S24 Ultra, but I think given the time of day, given how warm the sunlight was, it actually doesn't look all that bad. It's basically towing the line and just an inch across and it would be oversaturated, but I think it's doing a really good job. Now, obviously, a backlit portrait was gonna happen, right? So I don't think there's a massive difference between the two. Now, yes, I get it, the angle isn't quite perfect on either, but there is something I do wanna point out. You see, the OnePlus 12 is giving us more magenta 
in the warm tones you can see it on the road and all that jazz while the s24 is not quite doing that which i think makes it a little bit more accurate as opposed to the oneplus we obviously had warm tones but not that much magenta now when it comes to night portraits so there are some pretty significant differences the obvious one is the contrast the oneplus has high contrast which i do kind of prefer as opposed to the s24 but the colors i do think the s24 is handling them way better because uh, the skin tone just looks way too saturated, to my eyes at least, on the OnePlus 12. And well, it's my skin tone, so my eyes are the only ones that matter. <laughs> well, anyways, other than that, if you take a look at my t-shirt, that's where we have the surprising difference. The detail, preservation, my face and everything else is basically the same on both. But the S24 is smoothing out my t-shirt for some reason, while the OnePlus is preserving the textures in there. Now then, regular night mode. Now this one, I had completely expected that I would be saying that, oh, well, this is a regular shot, you know, both are gonna perform well, and it's a tie, but it's not, it's absolutely not. The S24 Ultra is messing up big time. Just take a look at the edges, the upper edges of the S24 Ultra shot, or I think it's just singular edge. Regardless, you can see there's a whole bunch of magenta just creeping in and it looks, it looks bad. To my eyes at least, yeah, that's just unacceptable. Now then, the night sky. Don't forget about that because I do always have a lot to say about night skies. Now, I think it's not all that bad on the S24. The OnePlus is doing a significantly better job. This is how night skies are supposed to look like. But you can see in general as well, the S24 Ultra is not doing all that well here. The warm tones look too greenish and they look unnatural. It's also slightly overexposed and uh, it's lacking contrast as opposed to the OnePlus 12. Now obviously we have some highlights in the foreground. I wanted to be sure that the night sky doesn't darken itself suddenly when we don't have lights in the foreground and so this is why I took this shot. And I think the OnePlus is a little too warm. It's not supposed to be this one. The S24 Ultra now is handling the warmth really well. It's very accurate in that regard, but again, the night sky and the contrast in general is not quite as good as the OnePlus 12, in my opinion. And this was also just as good an opportunity as any to zoom in and check out the details. And it's a different approach on both, but honestly, it's such a minor difference, it almost doesn't matter because the S24 Ultra is sharpening things more, which means you get more details, but also you get some haloing and artifacting. It's the exact opposite on the OnePlus 12, so, you know, pick your poison. However, when it comes to ultra low light, I'm telling you all I could see, even with my own bloody eyes, is just a silhouette of this lamp. To be honest, the OnePlus isn't really cut out for ultra low light. That's been one of the issues that has plagued OnePlus devices and its flagships for ages now. The S24 has improved quite a lot, like you can tell that it can really handle these kinds of low light situations. And then with the ultra wide camera, you see, yes, the S24 Ultra does suffer in the details department, we'll get to that, but it also has other problems, like look at the warm tones, there's way too much green going on in there and it just looks very unnatural as opposed to the OnePlus, which is actually doing a really good job. Also, the nice guy looks significantly better on the OnePlus 12, do I need to even say that? Now than this, this was significantly darker as opposed to the previous shot. It doesn't really look like it, but believe me, it was. As you can tell, we have the same kind of issue with the S24 Ultra, way too much green tint in the warm tones. The OnePlus is overcompensating for the warmth in this case, because all of the streetlights back there, they were all warm and the details, 500% crop and you can tell right the oneplus is just better in general and the hardware on the s24 is just not good enough for these kinds of low light situations and then this ultra low light ultra wide bloody hell i love i love the irony in this case just in the previous shot alone i was talking about how the hardware can't keep up even though the software is good and now it's because of the software that the oneplus 12 is unable to handle itself it cannot take long exposures, it cannot handle these kinds of ultra low light situations. And because of that, the S24 Ultra is pulling ahead even with significantly worse hardware as we've already established. Now then for zoom, so this is just a simple one shot, nothing too crazy. Then we have the 2x, which looks pretty good on first glance, but of course, when we crop in, we can see once again, just like with the regular daylight shots, the S24 Ultra has more detail as opposed to the OnePlus 12. Now for 3x, even though the OnePlus 12 has a significantly better sensor, it's not using the 3x camera. I can tell because the S24 is monumentally better with the details. And that's kind of sad because with such a good sensor, I would expect tremendously high quality night mode shots, but that's just not happening. With 5x, on the other hand, of course, now the S24 Ultra once again comes into a league of its own, just like with the daylight shots. And yeah, the OnePlus can't really keep up now, can it? 6x, similar situation. I mean, I don't really understand why bother with these kinds of focal length and options when even the base level 3x doesn't really work all that well. What's the point? And then at 10x, 
I'll tell you this much, it's very difficult to hold the damn camera still when you're trying to take a 10x shot at night. It takes like two seconds, maybe three seconds of exposure and you do get some motion blur on the short filter. But let's face it, even with motion blur, it's way more detailed as opposed to the OnePlus 12. For obvious reasons, it doesn't have the kind of optical zoom to keep up with the short for ultra And so that is a wrap for this comparison. I gotta admit, there are some pretty significant issues on both phones. Like we have unearthed some serious stuff. Now, the problem lies in this one singular fact that differentiates these two phones, the price. You see, the OnePlus 12, when you look at that price tag, you expect some drawbacks to be present. But with the S24 Ultra, no one should ever expect any kind of drawbacks. That's just not supposed to happen. But the S24 does come with problems. It still has a lot of issues that it needs to sort out. And well, when we consider all of that, the OnePlus 12 is just in general a much much better bargain because the price is so much lower i'm just talking about the photography here obviously i'm not considering the entire phone as a whole because i don't have the exact data to talk about that that's a whole different video i'll catch you guys later with many more to come cheers